it's Renee welcome to my channel so for today's video I want to talk to you kind of about something a little bit personal about me so a little while ago I had someone ask if I had thin hair and I said that yes I do and they were wondering if I could ever do something like a thin hair tutorial or like recommending products that I use for my thin hair and I was like that's a great idea why don't I do that like I'm sure lots of people have thin hair much like me and, and I have thought about doing a tutorial, but I don't really do anything special to my hair, like fixing it wise. Like today I literally just straightened it and like, that's it. Like I straightened it after putting a little bit of product in the top and that was pretty much it. I don't do any like crazy tutorials. Sometimes I crimp it, sometimes I straighten it. That's just kind of my thing. But I would like to talk to you about a couple of products that I think would be really, really great and really, really life changing for you if you have thin hair, especially on your scalp, and if you would like to hear about them, stay tuned and we'll get into it. Okay, so kind of one of the big things, like I said, that I talked about. So I have very thin hair, pretty much my entire family does. My mom has thin hair, my dad has thin hair, and so I definitely get it from them. Also too, I have thin hair from years of straightening it. I used to straighten it to death. I never used to take care of it. And that was a kind of a big thing when I was growing up in middle school, like the scene phase was so extra and so real. Also people my age never took care of anything that they had like that was just the truth and so I feel like a lot of times our hair was bad our hair was fried we dyed it we didn't take care of it we didn't do coconut oil treatments and stuff that wasn't a thing really especially I'm sure a lot of people too are like yeah no I never did that until I got older and then I realized my hair was getting crispy and I'm like yeah me too girl so that's kind of the main thing so the thing about my hair like I said so it is quite thin and I don't mind it super being thin on the bottom. It doesn't really grow that long anymore, but it gets, it goes to about, I'd say like just to like, just to like below my chest or just above my chest right here. I can't speak obviously for if you have thin or curly hair, just cause I don't have curly hair. I have very straight hair with some waviness underneath, but primarily straight hair. So if you want a quick, immediate fix on kind of filling in your hair or making your hair look a little bit thicker. For me, it's kind of particularly obvious too because I do have a widow's peak right there. Not a big one, just like a little one. But that part starts to get very thin very fast. Also too, I have some thinning in my scalp and right here and just all around here and you're like, but you don't look like you do. And then you'll notice that my part is actually quite brown and you're like, oh no, I didn't notice that because usually my hair is up. Well, that honestly, my mom actually discovered this. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's called Gray Away. So this is in the shade light brown, and it's a perfect match for my hair. Like I said, so my mom discovered this because she does color her hair sometimes, and she found this because she has very thin hair, like I said, and so she, she would kind of like spray it in there to make her hair look darker, she like touches up of getting her hair done. And then she noticed, she was like, this actually makes my hair look a lot fuller. It makes my hair look a lot thicker. It, because it adds pigment kind of back to your scalp and kind of back to where your hair is. And so like I said, I have very, very thin hair. I have a lot of it missing from right here. And it's very frustrating. It's very annoying. It's very frustrating being like in your early 20s and you're like, I'm going bald. This is it for me. I've considered extensions and that's a thing, but you can't really put extensions right here. Like you can but it's like just not really a thing, at least for me it's not. And so this stuff is honestly probably one of the best things that my mom has ever discovered. And like I said, so you can get this at Target, you can buy this on Amazon, she does subscribe and save on Amazon, so it's a little bit cheaper. Sometimes Target has cartwheels for it. This sprays out just like your typical aerosol kind of can, essentially, kind of like a hairspray with a little thing out there to kind of give you that more concentrated look. So basically what it does, all it is really is just like a pigmented hairspray. Not like a hairspray, but it's like a pigmented spray. And see, if you go too close, you can kind of get it in like that and it'll spread weirdly. But if you do it in more, if you do it further away, you can kind of get this more natural spread of the color. And obviously that looks a lot better than that. And this is obviously the closest color to my hair. I think there's a darker brown and I think there's a black. I don't know if there's a lighter color. L'Oreal makes these too, if you don't want to do gray away. I personally like this better because it doesn't smell bad like L'Oreal. The L'Oreal one smells awful and it's really, really dark. Like the lightest color is very dark. So if you have darker hair 
and this and the black aren't good like aren't doing it for you you could always try that as well I just personally think that it smells bad this stuff honestly has been a major game changer especially to my, like my self-esteem it also it's like kind of putting a product in your hair and it gives you just a little bit more like bounce and volume so my hair generally especially my bangs after I get in the shower I don't blow dry my hair because I like to minimize the amount of heat that I use on my hair so I just let it like do its thing and it kind of it gets flat but it also kind of poofs up and this kind of helps just fix that a little bit it gives me a little bit more volume so my hair isn't completely flat because I run it all the way down my part and then I run it kind of on this side because this is where most of the thinning is happening even though technically I have the most hair on this side but yeah like I said this stuff is so great not gonna make your hair look this way forever but if you're going out with friends and you want your hair to look a little fuller I personally think it is done wonders for my self-esteem because like I said it, it is a big thing to talk about like it's more common for men to lose their hair and like it does suck for them obviously but no one really talks about women losing their hair it's a very common thing and women can't as easily get hair transplants like it's just not a thing trust me I've looked into it female hair loss isn't like a big concern for people because it's not really talked about and it is an important thing like there's nothing that sucks more than like I don't know just like waking up one day and you're like I have a bald patch now from I have a lot of kind of hair missing from there because I used to put my hair up in ponytail all the time for sports and so literally I can just kind of go like this and it just kind of oh and just kind of fluff it up like that and it's a little bit fuller and it's a little bit thicker and what to just do to do like kind of just to blend it out I'll just kind of brush it because I just do my hair like this I'll just brush it and you're pretty good to go so like I said so just don't get too close if you decide to use it use it from further away and it'll just look a lot better it'll look a lot more natural as I mentioned, it is temporary, but it is a nice thing to have, just in case, you know, I use it a lot. I use it whenever I film, just so my hair doesn't look so thin, because it is thin, and that's just part of my life, <laughs> part of my genetics. But yeah, definitely what you're going to do, like, especially if you're worried about it, you can always kind of blend it in with a hairbrush. I've noticed that, like, even if I get too close, because sometimes right here, I can accidentally get too close, because I'm trying to get it to be, like, more in tune with how, like, my hair looks, and so I have to go in and clean up afterwards. Also, make sure that you do this before you put on makeup because I've had that happen to me before where I've gone in like after I've done foundation and sometimes you can get little kind of like brown specks on your forehead and that sucks after you've done makeup. Like I looked back at one of my videos and I was like, I have brown specks on my head and it can be a little bit difficult to get off. But the nice thing about it, it does just wash away in the shower the next day or that night whatever you're doing and it's really easy to get off they also have powders you can get they have like wax crayons but I don't know really how well like wax would do in your hair I feel like it would just make it look greasy and yeah this is just really 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 nice for that other thing I kind of want to talk about so if you have thinner hair like me so I have thin hair but I also have an oily scalp and that can make my hair look thinner which sucks and so I've always been afraid to kind of put oil into it or kind of put like additional like hydrating treatments into it because I don't want it to look more oily than it needs to. This is missing the cap because I honestly don't know where the cap is. But yeah, this is the Catatonic Hydration Inner Link. So this is a shine infusion and I spray it before I straighten my hair, which I'll also, the straightener is in the bathroom, but I'll post a picture of what it looks like because it works so well for if you want more of like smooth shiny hair but this stuff's great yeah it's a hair shine spray and it just kind of helps your hair stay like hydrated looking and it keeps it like shiny looking so a big thing that it even like is like an oil kind of but the thing that I have noticed is that when your hair starts to get more fried and starts to get more dead if you have lighter hair like I do or you have blonder hair your hair can look it can start to kind of almost look like straw because it gets like very thin and it gets like very dead and kind of crispy and then I feel like then your hair looks thinner than it already was if you use something like this at least that I've been using obviously I'm not a hair care expert I could be totally way off on this obviously do your own research I'm just providing my own explanation for what I use I use this I'll spray it in my hair but it's also great too because it is an additional heat protectant so you can use it before you put any heat on your hair it helps with frizz it helps with split ends and it just makes your hair look a lot more vibrant and healthy and also too I think that people forget about this because I didn't know this when I was younger it's important to kind of regularly replace your kind of hair tools I guess is just the best way to say it and so basically like what I did we had a straightener literally for forever and then we finally got a new one like a six months ago six or eight months ago 
and it's made a world of difference for my hair because my hair isn't getting fried the straightener isn't old it's just like a conair one i'll use that to straighten my hair and i feel like my hair just looks a lot more healthy and it just looks a lot better because the heat just makes it look a lot shinier and a lot prettier in my opinion because before sometimes i felt like my hair would get really crispy really fast and it would just dry the ends whereas lately i have noticed that my hair looks a lot shinier also another important thing too, basically honestly what I'll do at night, I'll always go and like cut off my um, split ends. I don't trim my hair, sometimes I will, but you know, it's whatever. But if I'm like around, sometimes I'll literally just be like, okay, split end, split end, split end, split end. And you know, that can always help with the length of your hair. It helps with, and you don't have to worry about constantly like your hair frizzing out or getting like really dead looking because of your crispy ends that you have fried now too much. And so I think that that's super important to do if that's something that you're interested in or just get regular trims. I really need to go on for a trim. I haven't gone in for one in a while. Obviously another important thing to do if you have thinner hair, don't be afraid to deep condition your hair. Like I said, I have a very oily scalp, but I didn't learn really that I should deep condition it because I always thought that that would make it more oily. And I've noticed that at least if I deep condition it like twice a week, if I do it too often, then it does get more oily. But I do deep condition it at least once or twice a week. Sometimes I'll do three weeks if I straightened it or I fixed it a lot more. And I've noticed that that really does kind of help the top part of my hair look a lot more healthy. And I feel like it looks a lot more vibrant and everything. I'll just use kind of like, I use that like organics and there's like a, it's like a biotin and collagen one. And I just feel like it does help a little bit, but it's just good to always like fully deep condition all the way down your head. And it's just like super important to do that. And I feel like it just really, it does help. It helps with the healthiness of it, like the bounciness of it. Like I said, I feel like it's a lot nicer and a lot more like thick looking than it used to be, especially like when I was in high school and it looked awful. But yeah, I feel like that's just like so important if like that's something you're really worried about or something you're really concerned about. Like I said, this stuff is great. Like so you can get hair powders, you can get any other type. This is just really nice because it's about $8 a bottle. This is a little bit more expensive. I'm not sure how much it is, but you do get 5.3 ounces of product, but I feel like it is a lot, because I will literally just go over, I'll do like one spray on this side, like probably like, you know, like when you hold it for like two seconds, I'll like do that and I'll go over my full head with that and do that for both sides. And it's a very, very fine mister and your hair doesn't feel greasy and it's so, so nice for that. I fully recommend checking this out. It has like that very like, coconut oil smell so maybe you could just put like a light thing of coconut oil in your hair if you wanted to but I feel like this kind of gives you that controlled amount of oil whereas if you just put a straight up oil in your hair I feel like it could get really greasy really fast but yeah that's pretty much everything I could like I said still do a full tutorial in the future if you'd really like just to kind of go through the different styles that I choose whenever I'm fixing my hair generally I just straighten it but I hope that that kind of helps you kind of deal if you have thinner hair and you're really worried about it or you're really self-conscious about it kind of like how I have been and I hope that it helped you out a little bit like I said I'll put links down below for all the products that I mentioned but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like down below comment and subscribe it'd be great to have you here again my name's Renee thanks for watching bye